Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a short circuit here at Mountain Life Fitness. This is for our members and clients. That's what these videos are really specifically for. Um, and so I'm going to walk through what this uh, particular circuit is going to be this morning. Those of you that regularly participate in our longer weight training circuit and our short circuits will be familiar with the format. For those of you that are not, it's a 14 station format. In short circuit, we go around a full 14 stations and then uh, 10 stations in the second round. If you want to, you can absolutely go through um, full two rounds and even add three more on the back end of that like we do in weight training circuit, which would make it more of a full hour workout with warm up and cool down and add some core thrown in there um, right after the circuit. So keep that in mind. Um, also stations one, three, six, eight, and 10 are always cardiovascular stations, and those are really meant for high intensity interval training. So you should be technically, after the first couple of stations when we're warming up, be hitting uh, that point where you get completely winded during stations one, three, six, eight, and 10. And then on the remainder of the stations, which are all muscular strength training stations, you should be hitting momentary muscle failure in the final two repetitions of each set of each exercise on each station where it applies. All right, so I'm gonna walk through what we're gonna do and then we're gonna rock and roll, okay? So station one are back lunges and so you're just gonna be tapping back. I've designed this particular circuit this week with no equipment. So those of you that don't have any, it'll be perfect for you. And those of you that do can add it, but I just really encourage you to do this particular workout without equipment. It's really kind of illuminating how challenging it is. So back lunges on station one. And then on station two, this is quadruped hip abduction. So elbow down, uh, arm out. You're gonna lift out, in, and close. If you're unable to do that, then you'll just lift and lower. Great hip abductor exercise, and of course, everything we do on one side, we will do on the opposite. Side lunges, okay? And we'll probably add some figure eight arms once we really start uh, rocking through the, the circuit. So another cardio station. Next are tricep push-ups. And so these can be done modified here, so no butts in the air as usual, or full where we go down, down, up, up. And of course we'll do one side leading, and then when we come back for the second set, we'll lead with the opposite side, okay? And then knee squats with overhead press. So squat knee, overhead press. Big compound exercise, gonna work quads, hamstrings, glutes, deltoids, nose to toes, core. And then following that will be a shuffle. So this is station six. So we'll be shuffling over and back, and that'll be your next cardio station. Then layouts with direction. So we'll have a seat, and we'll be performing layouts here, core exercise. Station eight will be your next cardio station, and it is a step kick. So step kick and step kick, okay? And um, following that will be a walking plank. So station nine is always a push-up station and it usually has some plank variation that combines with it for nose to toes core. So you'd be walking over like a crab and then walking back. And then you'll turn and do your push-ups full of modified. Then station 10 is a knee up, touch back. So knee up, touch back. If you wanna make this more intense, you can come all the way to the floor. And of course you'll do it on the opposite side as well. Supine hip extension with one leg up. So you'll come down to the end of the mat if you're using one, that's all you need today. And you'll be lifting and lowering, working the glutes and hamstrings. And following that, we will do a kneeling rear fly. And again, because we don't have equipment, we're having to make sure that body is placed into a real anti-gravity position. So you're gonna hinge hips and lie your chest on your thighs and we're going to fly. And so that's gonna work rear deltoid and trapezius, okay? And in the event you do decide to use load there, it would need to be relatively light. And then lunges with rotation. So here we're going to stagger our leg back and as we lunge down, we're gonna to rotate toward the trailing leg, okay? So we wanna make sure that front knee tracks over front heel. And then that'll work quads, hamstrings, glutes, and the rotators of the torso. And then Superman will be lying uh, prone and either fluttering or in an asymmetry for um, the erector spinae muscles. And then of course we'll finish the
the entire program with ads and core and stretch at the end. I just want to remind you it's 75 seconds per station. And so on cardio stations one through six, eight, and 10, we want to make sure that those are done um, continuously, okay, performed continuously. And the weight training stations, so the muscular strength training stations, I'll be saying take a break or switch sides just like I always do. And we'll be doing all of this together, okay? All right, so I'm gonna walk out of the frame for a second so we can get the music going, guys, and have a fantastic workout this morning. I've been getting great feedback from you, and I so appreciate that feedback. And that you're getting great workouts at home. Seconds. So on the cardio stations, we just don't stop. Yeah, we want to keep that heart rate up. And right now, we're just warming up. Yeah. So you just take it kind of easy. Feel that rhythm pattern. Yeah. And just moving that body through space and time. What it's all about, guys. Yeah. Good, good. Just stay with that. Pushing that body today. Once we're warmed up. Feeling the acceleration of movement, yeah? In these current, current times, we have lots of challenges, and we're just going to work with what we've got here, guys. We're going to push on through. We're going to feel good about life. And we're going to stay connected and positive, yeah? Feels good? That's it. Stay with you. about 15 seconds here. Good. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Nice work. Come on down. Quadruped hip abduction. Left arm down, right arm straight. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in. So you're actually going to be working both hip adductors here, left side working as a stabilizer, right side working as a mobilizer, yeah, again, up, out, in, or you can just lift and lower, up, out, in, and down, up, out, in, and down, and let's switch sides, getting ready, right elbow down, left arm out, up, out, in, and down, up, out, in. Nice, full, and complete range of motion, guys. Focus on control. These are not to be done fast. You want to keep the muscles under tension. It's called time under tension, T, T, yeah. Up, out, in, 10 seconds. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in and down. Good job. Come on back up. Station three is that side lunge, yeah? And we can add figure eight arms now. So we should be feeling a little warmer. Let's start to push that body a bit, yeah? This is the shorter version, so the shorter the duration, the higher the intensity. Yeah? Good, good. And that's it. Nice big range of motion. You can add a hop if you like in between to intensify. That's it. And if you need to keep it lower, you can actually take those arms down. Yeah? Stay with it. Good, good. Just feel that blood moving. Getting a little breathless now. You can hear it in my respiration. I hope you're experiencing the same thing. So we do this together. Let's go. Ten seconds. Good. 
Good. Four, three, two, one. Got a little breathless there. <laughs> I think that was the point, yeah? All right. Okay, tricep push-ups. Full or modified. Take your position, pack shoulders. Down, down, up, up. Good. Stay with it. It's very challenging. Nose to toes core. Well as triceps. 10 seconds. Good, good. Last one. And take a breather. All right. And this time, starting with the other lead. Pull and modify. Shoulders down. Rib cage lifted, navel the spine. Yeah. That's it. You're climbing stairs on your elbows. Yeah. Good, good. Down, down. Up, up. About 10 seconds here. Yeah. Good. Last one. All right. Nice work. These are always challenging, yeah? Okay, so squat knee. Shoulders packed down. Rib cage lifted. Navel to your spine. Squat knees. Down. Up. Nice big compound exercise. Quads, hamstrings, glutes. Deltoids. Nose to toes core. Yeah. And up. Big range of motion. Use that whole body. We have over 630 muscles in the body. Perfectly designed for movement. Good. Last one. And take that breather, yeah? You might just keep those feet moving. It'll help you with recovery. And just prevent you from stiffening up a little bit, yeah? All right. Back in position. Shoulders packed. Rib cage lifted, navel to spine. And begin. And up. And reach. That's it. Reach for the sky, guys. And up, good, good, sit, and up. You got this, be strong, yeah? Push that body, work. Good, good. Just torch those calories, work off that stress and anxiety. Good, good. And up, one more each side. And up. Nice work, guys. Next is gonna be that shuffle. Cardio station, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Pick those feet up. Work that body. Yeah? So you got about a minute to go here, yeah? Working in that frontal plane. Good, good. That's it. Just rock and roll, guys, yeah? Push that body. That's it. If you can't quite get the shuffle action, you can just step it over forward for you. Yeah? Main thing here is when we get that heart rate up, have about 30 seconds, we're going to work our heart lungs, circulatory system. Yeah, yeah? Keep it healthy. Good. That's it. You got it, guys. 10 seconds. Come on. You do anything for 10 seconds. Good. Four, three, two, and done. Excellent. All right. So down for layout. Hands behind you. Fingertips facing buttocks. Pull up and out. So core station. Rib cage to hip bone. In and out. Good, good. That's it. Compress that abdomen. Stay strong. 10 seconds. You got this, guys. 
You guys are all amazing. Yeah? Two. Last one. Drag it forward. Take a breather. Yeah? Looking good, guys. Shoulders down and back. Rib cage lifted, navel to spine. Get ready. And begin. In and out. And again, we're using this music today as background. Yesterday when we did functional strength, we're actually with the music there. And that Pilates as well. But here, it's just to keep us motivated, yeah? Not trying to say the 32 count phrasing, although it's hard for me to ignore it. <laughs> 10 seconds, guys. In and out. Exhale, inhale, pull, and push. One more each side. In and out. Nice job. And come on up. And station eight. The step kick. The step and kick. That's it. Good, good. So here, it's not so much about how high we kick, but that we're accurate. I'm gonna try to hit the same target each time, yeah? Chamber that body. Good, good. That's it. Stay strong. This will really hit those hip flexors. <laughs> yeah. Kind of fry them here. Yeah? Stay on it. Good. Focus, guys. Yeah. This is what we we're able to do, yeah? We're just kicking away all of our stress, all of our anxiety, letting it go, taking care of our body. Good, good. That's it. Nice. 10 seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Holy cow. Who came up with that in English? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's come down. Second for recovery here. Walking planks and then push ups. Yeah. Shoulders tacked down and back. Four, three, and begin to so walk over. Bring it back. Good. Keep shoulders packed. Loose clenched. Pelvic floor up and in. Good, good. I'll be time for one more sweep. Good. All right. So get ready for those push ups. All right. Shoulders rotated back and down. Good cage lifted, navel to spine. And go. That's it. Shoulders tapped. Rib cage lifted. Navel to spine. Squeeze glutes. Good, good. That's it. Ten seconds. Yes. Good, good. Four, three, two, one. And release it back. Oh yeah. All right, back up. And this is that knee touch. All right, guys. So you're gonna step up and tap back. That's it. Good, good. So again, getting that heart rate back up. And if you've got a heart rate monitor, make sure you're wearing it. Got mine on, yeah. Track those calories, the time you're putting in every day. Good, good. That's it. Couple more. Last one. Switch your sides and go. So if you like, this is the one where you can touch down if you like. I'm not gonna do it. 
So if you got a good healthy back, you can handle getting down to the floor like that. Feel so free to add it. Yeah? Otherwise, stay upright. Tap it back. You don't put that heel down. It's just a light tap, like you're tapping something hot. Yeah? Couple more. Last one. All right, guys. Good job. All righty. So this is that supine hip extension. You come down to the end of the mat if you're using one. Leg up and lift. So engaging this left buttock. And that's the beauty of this workout. All you need is your device to watch it on. Timer if you're going to use one, or you can count up to 12 reps and you can go higher than that on stations where it's applicable. Yeah. Two. Last one. And switch your sides. Leg right up. And again. And it's good occasionally to work without equipment, yeah? So you don't have that distraction. You can really focus on just taking those big muscle masses and moving them through space and time, yeah? That's it. Up and down. Exhale, and inhale. 10 seconds. Drive through that right heel, working that right buttock, those hamstrings, and nose to toes core. Big time stabilization here. We got one leg up. Last one. And down, good. Walk and roll up. And then this is going to be that kneeling rear fly. So again, if you can't quite get your chest to your thigh, you can always put a towel folded up there to give you a little boost. Shoulders packed. We're gonna take it up, two, and down. Nice and slow. I want you to really concentrate on engaging your rear deltoid and the trapezius here. Now, keep shoulders packed down. Now, crack that egg every time, guys. Pull up, crack it. Now, resist it down. Particularly without load, you've got to really focus on engaging these muscles. Now, again, up, two, one more. Up, two, and down, two. And press up. And over to the other side. Now, if you are going to use dumbbells here, they're going to need to be light to moderate. This is a small muscle. We have a long lever, hinge from the hips. And again, trapezius isn't a small muscle, but in this position, it's sort of disenfranchised, you know? Because we've got that long lever, and the further the arm is away from midline, the harder it's going to be on the muscle. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. Good. That's it, come on. Move the scapula. Up, two, and down. Good. Up, two, down. Two more. Up, two, and down. Last one. Up, good, and down. Two, nice work. All right, we're gonna come up from there and go right into our lunges. So you're gonna have your right leg trailing back. So imagine you've got a medicine ball if you need to do that. Long stride, and as we lunge, we're gonna rotate. So what's critical, as I mentioned in pre-class instruction, is that that front knee stays continuing to track over the heel. There's no motion like that or that, yeah? Control your femur. And up, two. Quads, hands, trans, glute, rotators of your torso. 10 seconds, down, two, and up, yeah? Down. Two, and up, down, two, and up, last one, down, two, up, two, and switch sides. Love this exercise, working across two planes, sagittal and transverse. Shoulders down and back, ribcage lifted, navel to your spine, on four, three, and again, down, two, and up, two, good, good. That's it. Keep that weight in that front heel. Knee tracking over the heel. No forward motion. And again, control that femur. Don't let it wobble. Yeah? And do not allow it to move in or out, medially or laterally. 
Not good for that knee joint, down. Good. Again, down, two, and up, last one. Down, two, and up, two, and release. All right, guys, let's come down to that Superman. So Superman is basically this, yeah? But we're gonna add that flutter. So you can hold it, okay? Or you can do asymmetry, or you can flutter. I'm gonna choose asymmetry here, yeah? And I'm gonna keep it nice and slow and controlled. This is gonna work your erector spine. Now you can actually keep your forehead on the mat or floor if you like. The key here is that we're not lifting very high. So just the shoulder and hip height, and we want to really pin the top of our pelvis, loose hip bones, down into your mat. So you stay in control. No lumbar spine hyperextension. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Good. Let's say a couple more. And release. Yeah, take a little breather. Reset posture, guys. Always worth it. Yeah. Shoulders packed in under case lifted and able to your spine. Pick Superman, Flutter, or Asymmetry. Yeah? They will all work erector spining. What I like about Asymmetry and Flutter is that it's a moving version of a Superman. Yeah? So it takes a little bit more control. Have to really bear down and dig deep, deep into our inner core unit muscles here. Yeah. Up and down. Good, good. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice job. Press yourself up. Back into child pose for a second. If you like. And then back up. Great time for a sip of water, guys. We're going to start all over again. I'm going to walk out of the frame for a second. And I'm going to get a sip here. All right, excellent job. So we're gonna do the first 10. And again, those of you that want to do more than that, feel free to finish up that second round completely and even add an additional three into the next one, which gives you a total of 31 stations, yeah? Okay, so here we're gonna really kick it up a notch, yeah? So these 10 stations, you know it, you've been there before. So I want you to really go. So here you can add a hop if you like. Yeah. Good, good. Or you can just tap back. Yeah. Lower hop. Yeah. Listening to your body, push when you can back off when you need to. Got about a minute to go here, guys. Yeah. Good, good. And if you're just doing the short circuit version, Remember, shorter the duration, higher the intensity. We're looking to get winded here, not just a little breathy. Yeah? You want stations one through six, eight, and ten to function as high intensity interval training. We've got three energy systems. This is that phosphogen system, yeah? So we'll kick in here in the final ten seconds. You want to use up that energy stored at the muscle site. About 30 seconds of that stored at the muscle site. So you can't go all out for 75. You have to slow down at some point. Here's your last 10. Push, push. Good, good. Four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Little recovery. Let's come down. And let's go into our quadruped hip abduction. Left arm down, right arm out. And let's lift up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Or you can just lift up and down, remember. You need to get that leg out in front of you here. Right there, yeah. Good. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, and 10 seconds. Keep that navel pulled to spine, shoulders down, out, in, and down. And let's switch sides. Getting ready. And go. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out, in, and down. Again, up, out. Getting a little feedback. Trying to correct that. Up, out, in, 
and down. Keep shoulders packed. Good, good. Push, pull, and down. Working those hip adductors, outer upper hip muscles on both sides. One is a mobilizer, one is a stabilizer. And down. Good job. All right, guys, back up. We'll go into side lunges and again. That's it. Now here, if you want to kick it up a little bit more, you can add that knee there, yeah? Pick it up. Good, good. Light on your feet. Move that body through space and time. Yeah? That kinesthetic awareness, where are you at in space and time? Good, good. And that's it. Stay with it, guys. Come on. Push that body. Yeah, yeah. Repetition, the mother is skill, yes? 30 seconds. Come on. We're looking for highs on five. Getting winded. That's it. Challenge yourself. Commit. Yeah? Come on. 10 seconds. Push on through. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Little recovery there. All right. So tricep push ups. Full or modified. This round, I'm doing my modifies. Yeah? Four, three, and again. Yeah? I've already done this complete workout earlier today. Practicing for you. Yeah? So this is an example of listening to your body. We'll also have some juice for you tomorrow. Yeah? Good, good. That's it. No butts in the air. Good. And take a breather. All right. Shoulders packed. Down, down, up, up. Like I said, like climbing upstairs on your elbows. Yeah? Good, good. Takes a great deal of strength and control. Yeah? Does a great job of fatiguing this tricep. Building that muscle mass. Yeah? Here's your last one. And release. All right, nice work. So this is gonna be that squat knee. All right? And go. Squat knee. Big compound exercise. Again, if you're gonna use external load here, you want it to be relative and moderate. You're doing multiple reps, moving your whole body. And this is your shoulder pushing over the head. So you want to make sure we're not overtaxing it. You want it to work, but you also want to be able to move our arms tomorrow, yeah? <laughs> That's it. Four, three, two, last one. Take a breather. That's it. All right. So just getting our mind, body, and soul ready to go again here. Four, three, squat knee. Push. Reach for the sky, guys, yeah? Up. Nice big range of motion. Make sure you hit that squat each time. You don't want to pull the legs closer. You want to hit that squat with every time. And up. Make sure heels are down when you are down. And the tailbone to the wall behind you. Good. That's it. Four, three, two, one. And the legs. Nice job. All right. So this is our shuffle. And begin. Now I'm going to add a little bit of intensity this round with an eight. And an eight. Yeah? You can add arms. 
Yeah. That's it. Good, good. Working in that frontal plane. Good, good. Excellent. Got about a minute again. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Pull and lift. And up. Excellent. Getting up there in zone five. Making sure that we're able to get completely winded in that final 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. You got about 30. Good, good. Stay with it. Nice. Come on. Kick it up a notch here. Yeah. Come on. Pull it. Stay on it. Give me that 1% more. 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. A little recovery there. Come on overhead a seat. Lay out. Back shoulders, fingers, face, buttocks. Right and left. Up and down. Good, good. In and out. Exhale, inhale. Good. Pull, push. Compress that abdomen. Good, good. Ten to go. Pull. Ten seconds of it. Yeah. Good. One more each side. Take a breather. All right. On the home stretch now, guys. Okay. Shoulders down and back. Rib cage lifted. Navel to your spine. And begin. In and out. That's it. Good, good. Stay on it. Pull, push. Move that rib cage down toward the top of that pelvis. Yes. Good, good. 10 seconds. Pull, push. Four, three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. Come back up. And this is going to be your step kick. And again. That's it. Yeah. So we want to get that nice chamber position. Keep your fist at your cheek. You can move the torso. Try not to move the arms themselves. Yeah? Keep them up there so you can hit. Yeah? Good, good. Kick it out, yeah? You want to? Move around. You go one direction now, you gotta bring it back. Good. That's it. Okay, 30 seconds. Long time for step kick. That's it. Stay with me, guys. We can do this together. Yeah, yeah. Good. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Walk it out. All right. So this is your walking plank. Bring it on down. Find your plank, and go. Just like a crab. Hold that plank solid. Looking good. Nose to toes core. Looking 
good. Bring it back. And return. All right. Good job. So, come down to the final set of push ups here. Shoulders back, your cage lifted, navel to spine. Now, and again. Keep shoulders packed, glutes clenched. Good. Strong and long, guys. Pelvic floor up and in, navel to spine. 10 seconds. Good. Last one. Nice job. Go back for a second. And back up. Final station, guys. Knee touch. Now here, if you like, you can add a hop. Yeah? Get some air. Yeah. Or you can touch down. Or neither. <laughs> you can just stay with a regular knee tap. Good, good. That's it. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Switch your sides. And go. Yep. Up and back. Up and back. That's it. Good job. Up and back. That's it. Get some air. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Push on through. Yeah, yeah. 10 seconds. Rock and roll. Come on. Up. Up. Four. Three. Two. One. Great job, you guys. Like I said, if you want to go through the full circuit, rewind and find the beginning again. And then move it into. Stations 11, 12, 13, and 14, yeah? All right. So a little recovery, guys. I'm gonna walk out of frame for a second. And we're gonna come down for our abs and core. And then a nice stretch and flex flexibility segment. All right, well done guys. A little mop off here. <laughs> mm. All right, so we are gonna do roll ups, okay? And we're gonna follow those with V-sit rotations and then some side bridge work as well, all right? I'm gonna move back here a little bit. Make sure you can see. All right, so full roll ups. And if you're unable to perform a full roll-up, then you would perform it modified to about 45 degrees back and back up into an upright position, okay? And let's roll back and peel it off and roll it back. So I've turned off the music we often do during abdominal segment at the end of class. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's exactly right, I tune human and I struggle to get through my thoracic spine because I have a very short torso. So I just don't have a ton of leverage. This is a whole lot easier when you've got a medicine ball, you yeah? know? Because that load helps you come through the range of motion, but it's nice to do it without that advantage. Yeah, so we really focus on pushing through that scapular thoracic region of the spine. Let's do a couple more here. Yeah, good. And final one. And peel it off. Yep. All right, good. 
Okay, and facing forward. Again, we have no load here, so we're just gonna use good old body weight for V-sit rotations. Feet can be down if you need them to be. Up is obviously optimal. And we're gonna rotate. So keep your hands close to your torso. Focus on rotation. Compress the abdomen. Concentrate. Yeah? Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take a breather. We'll do one more round. All right, guys. And back up, and let's go. Eight. Yeah, that's it. Good. Four, three, two, and one. And release. Good job. All right, let's come on over to a side bridge. So elbow underneath the shoulder. You can have a knee down legs tandem or stack position. Any of those works just fine. Then bring the arm up and let's thread the needle. So eight, yeah, seven, good. And down, four, three, two, and one. Carefully lower down and switch sides. My microphone does not like it there. All right, elbow under shoulder, knee down, legs tandem or stacked, hips up, arm up, and let's go. Yeah, good, that's it. Squeeze buttocks, good, three, two, one, and carefully lower it down. Great job, you guys. We're gonna get ready for our stretching and flexibility. So go ahead and get comfortable. I'm gonna walk out of the frame again to put on a little bit of cool down music. Go ahead and lie face up, so supine. Take the arms up over the head, both legs out. I'm gonna deeply inhale, filling up the lungs, expanding the diaphragm. Exhale, blow the air out. And again, nice deep inhale. And exhale. Bring arms down by your sides, soles of your feet on the floor and outside the width of your mat. Slowly lower the legs to one side as you look to the opposite. Relax head, neck, shoulders, chest, waistline, and trailing neck hip flexors. Knees back to the center and over to the opposite side. And come back to the center, place the feet on top of the mat. Let's reach behind the right thigh. Draw that tie into the chest and we're going to take the foot around the ankle joint as you stretch low back and glute back. Reverse direction. Relax the foot, inhale, and as you exhale, extend the ceiling, flex up the ankle. Feel that stretch low back, glute max, hamstrings, and calves. This holding stretch is about 15 to 30 seconds. Point and tighten and never retain. Lower that leg down. And reach behind the thigh, draw that thigh in, and rotate the foot around the ankle joint. This is a classic stretching sequence. And reverse direction when you stretch low back and glute max. You can always do this particular stretching series. Relax the foot, inhale, and as you exhale, extend to the ceiling, flex at the ankle, and stretch hip to heel. Whole lower body posterior chain. And then take that same leg, flatten it against the floor. Bring your right knee into the chest. Take your left hand on the outside of that knee and bring it across without picking up that right shoulder. You're really just kind of looking at the ceiling. This is going to stretch those hip abductors we worked on station two today. And release, slide that leg down against the floor. Bring the other one up, hand on the outside, and bring that leg across. And again, remember, keep the left shoulder down on the floor here. Yeah. And release. And either rock and roll up or roll to the side to get up. You're going to come on over to hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, and as you exhale, hollow the abdomen, spread the scapula, and feel that stretch cervical to lumbar. Release to a neutral spine, head and tailbone back up here to your point of comfort, now. Yeah. And then let's bring your right leg forward, put your left leg trail. And take your right hand on that right thigh, bring your left arm up and reach, and just stretch from armpit to front of hip. Great stretch there laterally while you get those hip flexors down. And up and release and switch sides. 
Get a good hip flexor stretch. Gonna need that after all those step kicks. Hand on the thigh, reach that arm up and over. And lengthen out. Great lateral stretch. Inhale, exhale, and release it down. And then just push down and stand up. It's gonna be a nice deep inhale to complete your workout this morning. And exhale, rotate shoulders back. Awesome work this morning, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a wonderful day, and you will see me soon. Thanks so much.